Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea, you know that, I know that. I'm just a lady with a bulldog and a camera and too many opinions. And today, some of those opinions were not liked <laughs> by everyone and that's okay. However, y'all know I made a video about Jordan Cheyenne, the cursed family vlogger who was canceled off of YouTube for accidentally exposing herself for exploiting her son for a thumbnail, which super cute and casual, you know, you know how one does. And she made a course, a guide, all those things for master resale rights. And cause she's such an expert, an expert, if you will. So we went through that, we marked that all up in red ink and Grammarly who, we don't know her. And if you watch the end of that video, you would have known I actually made my own guide to digital marketing and it's free. And you can find that at chelseasuarez.com. It'll be linked down below. And I am continuously adding to that. I, and there are a couple of you who actually already downloaded it. I'm pretty sure that I will be able to like continuously add stuff to it. But then for people who already bought it, I'm pretty sure it has your email on there. So then I can just go ahead and like email you like, hey, come download the new version, you know? I don't know, we'll see. Or just follow me on Instagram and I'll update it on there whenever I have updated it because I'm gonna continuously update it. Jordan Chan was not very happy that I made a video about this. So she messaged me and she said, hey girl, just watched your video. I would love to chat with you if you're open to it. I'd love to send you some voice notes here if we agree that they can stay between us. And we all know there's absolutely no chance that those are gonna stay between us. So I replied and said, good evening, Jordan. I have no obligation to keep our communication confidential. And that's accurate. I am open to having a conversation via direct message. And then she said, of course not. I just wanted to explain in detail. So that was my preference. I'll send you some voice notes in a few minutes. Now, before anyone says, oh my gosh, you, you know, shared her voice notes or whatever. I feel like most people already know this, but in case you're a big old dumb dumb, or maybe just ignorant, it's okay to be ignorant because that just means you don't know something. Now, if so, sending someone a voice memo, voice note, voice mail, whatever, a recording of your own voice, and then if they share that, that's on you, babe, because you knowingly recorded yourself saying something and then sent it to someone else. So yeah. So then I received notification that she had sent me nine plus new messages. They're all voice notes, holy crap. So let's go ahead and go through these. Also, I am gonna be putting on my nails because I only, only got one so far because the child is teething and uh, screaming and he's with his dad right now, okay? Don't be like, oh my gosh, you made this video and you should be tending to your child. Well, he has two parents. So the other parent can handle him while mama works, just like I handle him while daddy works. Okay. A preconceived notion, an opinion, whatever, on digital marketing, thinking it's a scam, it's a pyramid. Totally happy to break that down for you, but a few things I heard in your video about my product specifically are just fundamentally incorrect. So I would love the chance to, you know, be able to explain to you how I run my business and what exactly everything is. So I noticed that you bought the starter guide, and I noticed you said in your video, I bought Jordan Cheyenne's course. That is not my course. I want to just be incredibly clear on that. What you bought is a PDF guide. So my course is actually listed on my website. It is over 22 video trainings. It is over an hour long. It comes with three starter guides and all the videos teaching women how to build their business, how to profitably run a social media account, how to increase their engagement. So yes, the name of the video, the title of it says, of my video that I posted, reviewing her thing, was I bought Jordan Cheyenne's course. So are we, are we really gonna get hung up on course versus guide? Is that what we're doing right now? I also referred to it as a guide about 17,000 times in the video. So real uh, bold of her to be the one getting caught up on using the correct vernacular and, you know, words and such. <laughs> It's just hilarious to me when I heard, when I first listened to this, I was like, that's the first thing you're gonna say? All right, I mean, your first point of contention with me, like, all right. It's just, you know, that was fundamentally wrong, I guess. I, I am fundamentally wrong. Girlfriend, if that's fundamentally wrong, I don't wanna be right how to attract new followers onto their page who are already interested in their niche. Therefore, there is a lot higher conversion rate that those people will convert into paid buyers. So I teach my audience Digital Marketing 101, which is how to create your own eBooks, templates, guides, courses, whatever type of digital product that they want to create. However, if they don't know how to create one yet, or they're still brainstorming, thinking about what they want to create, in the meantime, they can resell mine for immediate profit. Another gripe that I had with her guide, and I'm sure I'll have it with her course when I also buy that this week and go over that too. Again, she's saying for immediate profit, we went through, or I guess technically she didn't go through all of the things, like all the expenses that you're going to have to even just sell it yourself. It's not for immediate profit. So first and foremost, you're buying 
her course. And let's say that's her actual course, not her guide that she's talking about. So it's $333. Beautiful. Love, love that. But the thing is, is that, okay, you can sell it for $330, but that's that's not profit. You're still in the hole. And then from there, you like, how are you going to sell it? Are you going to start stand store? Are you going to start, you know, Kajabi? Are you going to, how are you going to do that? So you're having all of these other expenses. So realistically, you got to sell it. I mean, twice a month, to, to really even break even. And realistically for the first for the first month, you gotta make three sales to to be able to break even. How many of these people are, are making three sales? I guess that's really the whole selling point in general is well if you if you buy this, you can just sell it, turn around and sell it right away and make your money back. You know, it's kind of like in multi-level marketing, how instead of promoting the products a lot of the times or promoting actually selling a product, it's, oh, this opportunity, this, this opportunity, that. And a lot of times, like we've said, that's what these people are selling. It's wild, wild, man. All right, let's keep going. So my starter guide is all about digital marketing 101. I believe that's the one that you went through, which is all about uh, pricing your product, setting up your product, choosing a name for your product, whether you want to host it on Stand Store, Squarespace, what have you. And then I have a faceless guide if you wanna start a brand new account using faceless images and stock videos and stock photos, I teach you all about that. And then I have a third little mini guide which is called my Instagram Content Vault, which is included for free when you buy the two guides, that's like a little bonus that you get. But none of those are my course. Um, I heard you say in your video, I bought Jordan Cheyenne's course. Just wanna be clear, those are not the courses. Those are literally just the guides. So my course is 333, which is insanely affordable for a digital marketing course. Most of the other ones that I've seen are 499 all the way up to a grand. Insanely affordable for a digital marketing course. So there's a lot that would go into gauging if it is affordable. For instance, how like what is the actual value of like the education? If it's anything like the guide that we first saw in there, then it I would not say that it is insanely affordable. I would say it's extremely overpriced because it's Again, I haven't purchased it yet, but I will be purchasing it this week. I just gotta wait for, just gotta wait for a few more things to drop before I can do that. Because I, I was about to say I'm smart with my money. I am not. Anyways, so with that, I have to meet with my accountant first, basically. But with that, I guess we could also say like, what is like the annual income of the average person or rather monthly income of the average person who is buying this or who this is geared towards. So ultimately I would say that no, it is not, affordable because the people that she's marketing this towards is people who are broke, or at least that's what it seems like. People who can't afford this. I would say it's not affordable. Oh, but don't worry. She has an option to break it up into payments. So, you know, my whole journey with my son is being a super broke single mom. And I went through so many financial struggles. I've been super upfront about that, like bank account in the negative, terrible credit. So everything that I've ever came out with within my own brand has always been affordable. Even my Instagram course from 2020, the Instagram matrix. Interesting. So you've always been a broke mom up until now. That's wild because she really was pushing that she was making all this money because she was manifesting it on her Instagram and on her YouTube page. Here are a few videos where she's saying, this is how I did this. This is how I made this money. This is how I manifested $20,000. Also, she has previously said that she manifested weight loss. Turns out later that allegedly it was just Ozempic, which in my opinion, her taking Ozempic is just unethical. Not only that, but like not safe. Affordable. Even my Instagram course from 2020, the Instagram matrix, I sold that I believe at 199. Every single thing that I've come out with, I've always had a payment plan for, and I've always made it super affordable. Even this new course, my course on my website, which comes with all the video trainings, is only 333 and I offer a payment plan. You can break it up into four and you can literally get started today for only 83 bucks. Also, just wanted to clarify, again, I know you already have your opinions on all this, not obviously to change your mind, but just to correct some things that were fundamentally incorrect. On my website, I saw you said, oh, she has her product suite. Like these are all the products that come with resale rights. That is not true. So if you click on my manifestation matrix. I don't know, in, in my opinion, I feel like she, and y'all let me know what you think or why you think she's picking on these few things. I feel like she's picking on these few things where it's like, oh, you said this wrong or, oh, you said this and it's actually this. And it's like, okay, girl, that, that doesn't really matter because me saying those things correctly or the way you want me to, that doesn't shame me saying, me saying course instead of guide or guide instead of course doesn't change the lack of value that is in these things and how you're marketing them as just the best thing that's out there. You know, digital marketing 101. No, this is 101. 
That is only 28 bucks a month. That's where I have all the positive affirmation tracks and all the videos on reprogramming your subconscious mind. The law of attraction, subconscious reprogramming has been, you know, my passion for like 10 years. I have tons of YouTube videos on it from way back in the day, years ago. This is not- You heard that right. Subconscious reprogramming. You bet your beautiful, round, juicy, dare I say spicy? No, you don't want a spicy butt. But basically, don't worry, we're we're buying that too. Like a Curtis Connor or a uh, Drew Gooden and like show y'all and like do all of it and be like, okay, is my life any different? <laughs> I just come back completely brainwashed. But from what I've seen and like what the people that I've, like the testimonials that she shares and stuff from that, I'm just like, this is such, I was about to say hogwash. <laughs> Can this course get me to stop talking like a Nana? Cause I'm pretty sure I called her a trollop in the last video. I need to cut it out. In the day years ago, this is not something that's like a new interest for me, but that is a monthly membership at 28 bucks. It is not an MRR product. So the only products that I offer that come with the resale rights are the guides, my starter guide, my faceless guide, and my new course, which is the digital Bible. Hey, guess what? I don't care. <laughs> like it's she's trying to get into like the nitty, tiny, little nitty gritty. Would this count as a straw man fallacy? I feel like it does. Yeah, this would count as a straw man fallacy because she's not, instead of addressing the actual position or argument, the person involves substituting with a weaker, exaggerated version, easier for them to criticize. Yeah, I'd say that's what it is because she's going after like the super tiny little, little mistakes that I made. So people who purchase any of those, of course, can purchase them, learn from them and turn around and resell them for 100% profit. I do want to address the fact that some people think it's a scam. Again, not 100% profit. It's not how any of this works because of course you're not just paying for the course. You're not just paying for the guide. You're also paying for the platform to host all that on and to host those transactions and all that. You're also paying for like all the all these other things, right? For your URL, for your you just there are so many costs. Even when I was doing my guide, I was and cuz I, you know, said I was like she doesn't put the cost on any of this. That was one of my main gripes with it. And so I was like, obviously I have to do it when I'm making mine. So I went through and I'm seeing like how much I'm paying for stuff. And I'm like, why am I doing <laughs> I need to, I need to chill with my expenses here. It's crazy. It's a scam or whatever, because when I first heard about master resale rights, I was incredibly confused. I thought there's no way. How are people making this much money? How is this even legit? So I totally get it. I think that there's a lot of misinformation out there. And unfortunately, a lot of people don't reach out and explain it in detail, which leads to a lot of confusion. Are you really about to explain to me what Master Resale Rights is, girl? So let me be clear. I don't think that digital products or digital marketing is a scam. Hell, I did it for quite a long time, kind of still do it. So keep that in mind. The way that it is being marketed is very scammy and unethical. So be clear on that. The The ways in which, I mean, it's, it's just deceptive marketing all around, it seems. I've been pretty clear on that. And I think that's important to understand. I've never said that it was multi-level marketing. I never said that it was a pyramid scheme. I said it's a scam, but hey, sometimes those things sound synonymous, huh? Technically, it is single level marketing, which is under digital digital sales. So again, it's oversaturated. All of you are selling basically the same thing. Master resale rights, the creator, me, for example, my new digital Bible course at 333, I never get a cut or a penny when my student buys it from me and then they resell it over and over and over. It's not a pyramid. It's not an MLM. I do not ever get a penny or a percentage or anything like that. Say, for example, you bought my new course at 333 and then you resold it over and over and over. All those sales would come straight to you. You'd get the money the same day in your bank account. I'm not getting like a cut or a percentage just because I was the original creator which is why it's absolutely popping off right now and everyone is making insane passive income because they are reselling something they didn't even have to create for that profit. So my new course, I know you haven't got it. You just got the uh, starter guide, which by the way, I will completely hop in there and refund for you. But I will get it, don't you worry. Completely hop in there and refund for you. Um, my course is, I know without a shadow of a doubt, it's- I don't, I don't need her to refund me. Um, she can, she can keep my money. Also, I don't want her to know what email I used, so. I'm so proud of it. I can shoot you a little like video demo here if you care to see what's inside, just like so you know. Jordan has also said similar things about the other products that she offers. I'm not very confident even though she says that this is the best thing she's ever created. The course is over 21 video trainings teaching my students how to profitably use my PPS, which is a proven profitable strategy, to post on Instagram and social media and within their email list to increase the engagement on their accounts, draw new audience members onto their page who are already interested in their niche, therefore they will convert into paid buyers, therefore my students make more sales. 
So within the course, I teach you all about how to set up Stand Store, Flowdesk, your website, create your eBooks, create your templates, list your products. Like why even charge for the digital marketing guide that she's selling then? Like why not that, why not just have that be like your little freebie that you're giving out to give people like a taste of like what is in the big guide. Also, isn't it crazy that she's saying like, oh, well, this is so that you can, you know, run a successful business and blah, blah, blah. I know if you don't have your own products or whatever, like a lot of these people are, yes, just selling the product that she's selling, but some of them aren't and some of them are in different niches they're in different industries and they're just using this to you know further whatever business they have but not everything is going to work for everyone not every marketing strategy is going to work for everyone and i think that's really important to understand and if it's so broad and so generalized like can it work for the majority of people so is it even going to apply to a lot of these people probably not how to increase that engagement on your social media how to create your email list how to create a freebie it's me on video teaching you all of this i created it completely from scratch. You will see my face in all of the video trainings. And I even recorded a YouTube series. I pulled out my vlog camera and I recorded myself creating. So sorry, that cut me off. Um, I even recorded a YouTube series where I show you how I created the course, literally from the pages that I wrote the content on, like physical paper, transferring all of my thoughts there onto a whiteboard, then transferring it onto me recording the videos. Like I have all of the video proof that this is something I created from scratch. And like you said, I have created tons of other courses in the past. And I truly believe, and I know that all of that expertise, all the the whole journey that I had creating those other courses in the past led me is the entire reason that I'm able to create this one and this one to be my best product ever. Because in the past, I've had launches that failed and launches that sucked and I've done things wrong and I've you know, done the trial and error and the Google searching and self-teaching all these things. And because of that whole journey of me doing this for the past decade, it led me into creating this course now with having that entire past decade of knowledge. Just because you've done something for a long time doesn't mean you're good at it. Just because you've done something for a long time doesn't mean you're an expert. Just because you've done something for a long time doesn't mean that you should charge other people and say that they can, or rather make claims that they can be super successful by also doing what you are claiming that you have done. So anyways, obviously you've got your opinions. I am insanely proud of my new course. Uh, I know for a fact, I've gotten so many signs that this is where I'm meant to be. I am in full alignment with the course. My students who are already hopping in, I know you haven't got it, but the big course for 333 are already receiving so much knowledge from it, reselling it, making money. I have the proof. I have all the testimonials on my Instagram story under my students highlight. It seems like a lot of the people who are commenting on her videos or messaging, you know, saying that this was like life-changing or that they like received a check in the mail because they prayed about it. like. Again, what in the 2 a.m. holy water is this? So please keep that in mind. And it just seems so culty. And there, it, it seems like one of those instances where people are just like obsessed with someone and they will buy anything that they sell. And like, it doesn't matter how sh it is. It doesn't matter how much it costs. They will, it's like when a D-list celebrity or even, you know, a B-list celebrity or someone, an influencer joins an MLM and then people think that they will, you know, have that connection to them. So they buy it or they buy into it. So anyways, obviously you've got your opinions. I am. So I'm so sorry these were so long. Just wanted to address that. Um, it does suck to see people on social media thinking that digital marketing is a scam or an MLM or a pyramid when they truly just don't have the knowledge. When you purchase the product, obviously you've purchased it one time and you can go ahead and resell it over and over and over for 100% profit. There's no pyramid. The original creator does not get a kickback or a percentage, nothing like that. You literally get 100% of the profit. I think she's really missing the point that something can not be an MLM or not be a pyramid scheme and still be unethical. Uh, and I don't think she understands that her marketing is very unethical. Jordan, you're probably not going to watch this video or even hear what I have to say, but your marketing is extremely unethical. If you are promoting how much money you are making from doing something to try to sell something and get other people to also do that thing, that's not, that's gross. That's not okay. How about you just promote the knowledge or value of the information that is inside these courses and guides, not how much money someone can make from reselling it straight to you, which is amazing. It's how it's creating, you know, all this passive income from people. And again, it's not passive income. It's not a hundred percent profit. Like words have meaning and I hate it. <laughs> so I'm so sorry. These were so long. Just wanted to address. So anyways, thank you so much for listening. Greatly do appreciate it. I already know that we're probably not going to see eye to eye, but I wholeheartedly believe in my new course. It is not a scam in any way. There's so much education and value in there. Women are already seeing it. My new course, The Digital Bible, I launched only like seven days ago. And we already have almost 200 ladies in there and plenty of students turning around and reselling it, making that passive income. And I'm truly so grateful that I can teach this back to women because obviously this is what I've done, you know, for a decade. And adding the master resale rights in has been such a blessing for my business and then teaching other women how they can do that and purchase a course like mine, which is super affordable because the other, you know, viral courses out there are around 500. So I wanted to kind of fill that gap in the market and come out with something that was only 333. She said multiple times in the last week that her course has gone viral get the antibiotics because we've just gone viral no you have not selling something 200 times since you launched it 
that's not going viral. That's not how that works. She said that there's over 200 people in there right now who have bought the course. And if it's 333, then that is over $60,000 that she's made from this course. Again, that is not profit because she is having to pay for her hosting sites for which is whatever else she's paying. And then also taxes as well, right? And if she has herself set up as an S-corp, she has to pay payroll taxes and she has to have herself on a fair and reasonable salary and all that. So I think that's really important to understand. And also, again, it's not passive income. If you're spending all this time, not only making this, but marketing it, and then also being in this group chat and this private community with people who have purchased it. And then further than that, she even posted something saying that she like canceled a family night to like make something. So you can't constantly say, oh, this is passive income. No, you're actively canceling plans to do this. So it's actually the opposite. Um, But yeah. Uh, Oh, also just to address real quick, there totally was typos in that first guide. You actually bought my first version of it. I completely agree with you there. That was very unprofessional. Um, So I do want to refund it for you. Shoot me what email you paid for it with. I bought the first version of it. The update, like there hasn't been an update since then. I believe that it's interesting because it sounds like she's trying to make it seem like I had like outdated information and it's like I've I filmed that video probably like two days after I I bought it so that means it like went up like within the same week so was it an old version (laughs) also you still charged for that you still put that up like with your full butt so that doesn't negate anything in there this woman, I swear. All right, so like we see here, this was the other night and it says canceled family day. Passive income who? Getting this new video vault done now for you ladies. And so obviously all of these are people saying that like, oh, I had no money or I had no followers or I made money in the first five seconds. Of course you did. Negativity get to us and I've been through so much BS online, I know how to just like let it roll off your back, but I'm seeing some few few people, you know, not being very nice. And listen, every great, big, viral, amazing course that is succeeding now with- You've been through so much BS online or is it the consequences of your own actions? And don't get me wrong, I'm sure there were people who were like unnecessarily like sending her death threats and stuff because people are crazy and just ridiculous. However, almost everything that I've seen without those outliers of the crazies has been pretty justified. Like allegedly lying about manifesting weight loss when it was actually Ozempic. But you know, just think yourself skinny. That's all you gotta do. Of course that is succeeding now with thousands of students in the millions. They all had to start from day one. Who is anyone to shit on anyone else and their products when your product had to start at day one as well? Uh, Me, it's me. Anyone can have an opinion. And if you are selling something on the internet, girl, you better be able to handle the naysayers and the bullies, the internet trolls. Or hey, how about you uh, just not have a billion typos and you not try to scam people? That could work too. I think personally that she made this course because the guide and the other was not working out for her. Which sure, pivot. I mean, that's a, a good idea, but also like make sure you're not scamming anyone and make sure it actually has quality information in it, especially if you're selling it for over $300. These big courses with 20,000 members, which we will get to, mark my words, all had to start at day one. There's room for everyone in this community. I have never once come on here and said, another course is crap, buy mine instead. Every course that's out there is amazing. Every course is so amazing. No. Not all courses are amazing. Like not everything is the same. Not of, not everything is of the same value. Some of it is completely scammy. And, and these people are just selling again, a dream because that's what they're used to doing in network marketing. I just thought that with my unique personality, story, teaching style, that I could bring something additional to the market at only 333. That is it. I am not in competition with any other course. I'm providing completely my own thing with my own twist on it. If you want to join mine, I would be grateful to have you but there's no cattiness. It should it should never be like that. That's weird. I mean, she said, let's address this. So you would think like something did happen to where someone was like, oh my gosh, this course is like, again, dog poo and you shouldn't buy this one and blah, blah, blah. I think that's maybe why she would have been saying something like everyone starts somewhere and there's room for everyone and blah, blah. And like, yeah, there is. But the the whole like reselling aspect of this is, is really interesting because that's really what you are selling is the resell aspect of it instead of the actual 
course of it all. So there's that. Like I said at the end of my last video on Jordan Cheyenne and in the beginning of this video as well, I did make a digital guide. It is gonna be constantly being updated. I'm literally gonna try to spend like, I wanna say like two hours a week updating it. Hopefully I'll be able to actually do that. I've been having to work like at night lately because this little gremlin boy is Velcro baby only wants me and is so sweaty and sticky and squawking squawking right now playing with his dad so i will be updating things on there and if y'all see any like sil syllabuses sil syllabi syllabuses or like outlines from other courses send them over i mean i feel like all of them basically have the same stuff in it but definitely do that if you want you know you think you have like a good chapter or section like for me to cover that'd be great so go ahead and do that i really appreciate the like outpouring of support for it already it's from other creators and like smaller creators and from my subscribers, my viewers as well. Yeah, so I appreciate it. As I said before, like, yeah, I probably should be charging for it, but I'm not. And I feel like that's just more of like an F you to these types of people. So appreciate you. Again, this is not a petting zoo. This is not an interact interactive experience. Do not go attack this person or anything like that. Like I said, I will be purchasing her course and I will let you know actually if it is anything of value, if it is good at all, if it has any good information on it. I want to start doing more stuff like that throughout the year of, you know, maybe I'll review like one course or something a month and, or one like guide a month, something to where like you, I bought it so you don't have to and we'll go through it. And I just have to watch out for like the legality aspects of those types of things with master resale rights. It's fine. But you're buying the rights to it. So Anyways, I hope you have a great rest of your day and night weekend whenever you're watching this. Remember that your butt looks good and subscribe and all that. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Okay, stay spicy. Bye.